we we all saw the exploits of one Kevin Durant in the second round of the playoffs. They lost, but it wasn't his fault. 49, 17, and 10 in game five, 48 minutes. Then 48, and 9, and 6, or whatever it was in game seven. And one of the greatest, it won't go down as one of the greatest because they didn't even win. But I'm just talking about the sheer skill, the spin move, the know where he's, he, he, you know, he had his foot on the line, and the three-point shot, great shot to tie it at the end of regulation. But never, it was all for naught. They didn't win. But a lot of people, George, even before that shot, before that game, a lot of people were saying that Kevin Durant is the best player in the world, that he has surpassed one LeBron James. And even though they lost, even in a losing effort, a lot of people are saying he is that guy. And if they, to be honest, they were saying it before the season, before the playoffs. A lot of people think KD is that man now, that he's taken over that mythical title. Scottie Pippen, the great Scottie Pippen, top 50 player of all time, six-time NBA champion with Michael Jordan, he was with Vincent Goodwill today speaking on Yahoo.com, and he begged to differ. Here he is. I see a lot of the talk now going on about, you know, has he surpassed uh, LeBron James? Um, has he? Surpassing LeBron James takes a little bit more than an individual's uh, effort. LeBron James is a complete team player who understands uh, team and winning. Uh, has KD gotten to that level yet? He went home. He's, he's got two mm-hmm. championships and two finals MVPs, right? But to say that he's surpassed LeBron, uh, I, I, I think he still has some learning to do in terms of what it takes to will a team to victory. Mm. There you have it. From none other than the great Scottie Pippen. And, and people, tr- just quickly, George, and then it's the floor is yours. People trying to think, oh, Chris and Rob, they don't like Scottie Pippen. They dissed Scottie Pippen a week ago when they said he wasn't MJ's equal. We didn't diss Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen is phenomenal. We just said, don't get it twisted. It was not, he was not on MJ's level. MJ was the man. Scottie was Robin. MJ was Batman. And it was as clear as day. That's all we said. But that doesn't take away from Scottie Pippen's greatness. All yeah. right, George, okay. I got a lot to say about this, but I know you do too, so the floor is yours. So I'm going to start with, to go back to Kevin Durant's shot, right? Is That shot, I was amazed, but I was not surprised. Right. Do you, do you understand the difference? Like, I was amazed at the shot, but I was not surprised. I actually expected I him to hit that shot. Which led to another issue, which was why was P.J. Tucker on him to begin with instead of Giannis, who Giannis has the best field goal percentage against him out of anybody in the league. But that's a whole other story. But the idea, though, that Kevin Durant has passed LeBron James, that that's a prisoner of the moment take. And the only reason why is it is because Kevin Durant, We haven't seen Kevin Durant since he was in the playoffs with the Warriors. And that was in 2019. That this season is the first season that we've seen him. And we only saw him about half the basketball season. So the idea that he's passed LeBron James while he's done so little, I mean, granted, what what we saw in the playoffs was absolutely special. And could he be better than than LeBron James at this point? Yes, because Father Time's catching up with LeBron. But the idea that you can just anoint a guy with such a small sample size as the best player, that's the part that I don't agree with. Some people were saying that, too, just based on what he did in Golden State. Yeah, well, no, see, see, now, see, now, that's a legitimate argument. Like, in 2019, that was a legitimate argument. But then he gets hurt. We don't see him uh, for, the, for the rest of the finals, obviously, and the Warriors lose. And then we he's absent all of 2020. And then 2021, 
he he only plays half the season. And and if you really think about it, when when he was out, who looked like the best player on the Brooklyn Nets? James, James Harden. Harden. Right. Yeah. So so just with the small sample size, I can't put him above LeBron at this point. But also I do recognize that when we're watching LeBron James, he doesn't have the same ability to to blow by guys and drive by them and all the things that made him so dominant. But his basketball IQ and being able to set guys up is what still puts him head head and shoulders above a bunch of guys in the league. And there's really only a couple guys who you could even contend as the best player in the, the, the league at this point. I don't even think you can put Giannis in that category because Giannis, as talented as he is, 28, 11, and 6 on the season, which is unbelievable. But the idea, though, that the best player in the league doesn't either facilitate the last shot or take the last shot on his own team, that's a little bit weird to me. And and then you can you could argue Steph, you could argue uh, like like and and you could argue KD. But beyond that, everybody else doesn't have enough of a resume, or doesn't, or or we've had such a small sample size to even have them talked about in the same breath as LeBron. First, yeah. you said Giannis Antetokounmpo, the two-time MVP, who is got to be the favorite. Now, he might not do it. We'll see. But got to be the favorite at this point to win the championship. You said he's not in the discussion for best player in the world. And guess what, George? I agree with you. Thank you. You are right. And and here's the, if he wins the championship this year, he still won't be the best player in the world. Correct. And I know we've become accustomed to that. Kawhi, oh, when he led Toronto, he's the best player in the world. LeBron last year, he's still the best player in the world. Kevin Durant, Golden State, he's the best player in the world. First of all, that's not the rule, right? Dirk Nowitzki yeah. was never considered the best player in the world. Never, not I, one time Obviously, Chauncey ever. Billups wasn't. Yeah, I mean, I, that you know. But D- D- Dwayne Wade in 2006 with Shaq when he led Miami to the title – was not considered the best player in the world or even better than LeBron James at that point in time. Paul Pierce was never considered the best player in the world. In fact, he got mad at me when after they won the championship and he was the finals MVP in 2008 when I said, I'm not sure he's even in the top 10. He said he he was the best player in the world. I said, I'm not even sure he's in the top 10. He texted me. You ain't even in my top 10 local writers. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> do you realize, hey, dude, Paul Pierce. See, but. but I this, love Paul Pierce. Conversations like that, though, are the reason why Paul Pierce hates all the LeBron James love so much. <laughs> that That's the reason why, because he's like, I want my, I right. want it my, want my going love. away. I wanted my farewell tour. And then who who oh, was it Draymond. that was like, they don't love you like that, Paul? They, you ain't, you Draymond. thought you was Kobe? Draymond threw, that was some of the best trash talk I've ever heard. I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that was great. But anyway, let me finish this up and then I know you got plenty to say. Uh, here's, I, I agree with you on Giannis. Like, look, Giannis is phenomenal. I can pencil Giannis in, even in the playoffs. I can literally pencil him in for 32 plus. He gonna give me 30 or 32 points or more. Yep. I can pencil him in for 15 rebounds plus. Five or six dimes plus. All of that. And, 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 yeah, an air ball perhaps every game or two on the free throw line. But Giannis, because of his la- he is not the closer. He's not, like, at the end of games, they're essentially going to Chris Middleton. Yes, and you can't be the best player in the world if you can't close a basketball game. No, and I get it. We, you know, he can't shoot. But that, it, look. What Giannis did with a minute 11 left in overtime against Kevin Durant in game seven, faced him up, then posted him, you know, went in, took a dribble or two, then backed him down. It turned, 
backed him down, went to the spin move and the jump hook. That should that should be his go-to move. Yep. That should be his I, – I get it. He can't shoot outside. He don't have to. Kareem couldn't shoot outside, but he was a go-to guy. He was a closer. Shaq couldn't shoot outside, you know, in NBA games, but he was a closer. Yep. And so – that's what Giannis should do. Like when Harden had him and called off Landry Shamit, forget that spin to the baseline, shoot a turnaround, Jay. You post him up, back him down, jump hook, two points. So when Giannis starts doing more of that, then Jordan, even if he doesn't improve the jumper, he could then perhaps be the best player in the world. But you have Correct. to do one or the other, right? Yep. You have to be dope on the perimeter with your Jay. Or you got to be killing dudes on the post. You can't be, you know, the jack of all trades and the master of none. Yeah, because it's the, the granted, the rest of the basketball game does matter. But there's a difference in clutch points and regular points. Like, like there are guys who can get buckets from, from minute one to minute 43. But those last five minutes, and I'm not even talking regular season games. When you get in them playoff games, and they and it get the pressure cooker is on. Look at what happened to Ben Simmons. He mentally fell apart. Well, he, he of mentally the, fell apart for the whole series. Yes, yeah, get us. I was saying it, it was the pressure of the playoffs. Right. But then you put him under the basket, even with five minutes left, and he's like, Mm-mm, "I won't be the person to blow this game. Right? I'm not gonna blow it." Let me let me Even find somebody else to pass the ball dunk, to. Right? Yeah. Yes. And, and the playoffs are a whole different animal. So so that's me with 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 Giannis. What was I'm your with rebuttal you on there. to what what was Steph, your rebuttal to yeah to Steph? Look, Steph, and I I I stand by this contention. Unless somebody else said it, I didn't hear. I believe I was the first person on national television in 2015 to say that Steph Curry is the best shooter in NBA history. So I, I, I got nothing but love for Steph. Best shooter in NBA history, best small player, below the rim player ever. All right? All that. Second greatest point guard ever to Magic Johnson. But he's, he, it's, it, I hate to say it, but it's the size. He's not the best player in the world. He's limited defensively, and I, I think there's something the size. Isaiah Thomas, who until Steph came along, was the best small player in the world in my estimation, was never considered the best player in the world. In this game, even though but it's becoming more of a Steph small man's either, game, no, he couldn't. But I'm just saying, Steph is not LeBron. Steph is not Kevin Durant. As great as he is, he's just but, not. But Le- LeBron, I mean, Steph, skills, hold on. If Le- LeBron, LeBron, skills are if fading. LeBron had missed the playoffs this year, playing, you know, most games. He, I know he missed it a few years ago, but he missed plenty of games, 27 games. But if he played just about every game, like 70, you know, they, they 62 or 63 out of 72, and they missed the playoffs, you don't think he, he would be getting crushed? Kevin Durant, they they're making the playoffs with that Golden State team. He, so look here. here here's the thing: is it, it, I it's and I easy. love that, but no, he's yeah, not but better it, than it's no easy team. to use the well. They missed the playoffs this year, but did they really? They were in the eight seed. Yes. Chris. No, hold no, on, hold no, on, hold no, on. Stop it! I no, will no, not let were, you come on the eye couple and spew feelings over facts. You can get away Chris. with that at one a.m. in the morning. <laughs> By yourself, and you got nobody Chris, sitting across from Chris, you. Here you we, did not just come on here and say, "Did they really miss the play?" No, they did. No, oh, I'm, they, I'm, yes, the, they really the, missed the playoffs. The the uh, the not the play is, is the playoffs. Is that you're using that as a manipulative tactic to disqualify Steph because if this were any other year, would he have been at, at, at the eight seed? Would he have been in the playoffs? Yes, right. He did so, not make so, the so, playoffs. So, like, let's George. not act like he was in the ninth or tenth seed. The, he he was not. They actually the Washington were the Wizards. ninth seed. No, they were the eighth seed under the current rules. Oh, stop, they Chris. finished ninth. Chris, Memphis stop. was you, the eighth seed. This is 
Oh, straw straw man fallacy, man. You just you you just built him so up. So let me let me get to your KD point. Let me okay. get to your KD point before we go to break. I do agree. Look, I've said Father Time has tapped LeBron on the shoulder. LeBron can no longer just carry Chris Broussard, George Reister, Rob G, and Alex the DJ to the playoffs. Yep. Okay, he, he can't because Father Time's tapping him on the shoulder. How? So he's not quite what he used to be, but does that mean he's no longer the best player in the world? No. Correct. Because who else can do it? Kevin Durant, and this is Scottie Pippen was right on the money, as great as Durant is. And Durant is, a, it's not even a discussion how much of a better shooter and score or shooter he is than LeBron James. But Kevin Durant, for all his greatness, and he is great, has yet to prove he can lead a team to the championship. He's even yet to make prove it. it. Too, even, yes. Yes. All those years in OKC, I, I, they got there once, I know, but he didn't win it. And then Golden State, that wasn't his team. Yes, he was the best player. That was Steph's team. They Steph, were in the finals the Steph year before. Steph set the tone. <laughs> yes. I mean, come on. 73 wins, a championship before he even gets there. And this year, I mean, it, it was his team recently. Obviously, he's hurt most of the year. It, was, it looked like James Harden's team. But – this year, and I get the injuries, but the bottom line is he didn't lead them past the second round. And so yep. Kevin Durant still has yet to prove he can lead a team to the championship like LeBron James has proven that. And so I still think you can say LeBron is the best in the world. Yep. Let him do battle next year yeah, and, and see who it is. And, and I remember I talked about this on uh, a show this on when, when I was on with Dan Dan Byer here on Fox Sports Radio this weekend, and he and he was like, "Are you no no no? no I'm sorry, I was on with uh, oh gosh, I forgot who I was on with, but uh, but but he was talking about what an impression he made on you. <laughs> <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> <laughs> but he was talking about. He was like, "Oh wait, uh, that that Joker, that Jokic should be included in it. Oh, stop. that that I was just talking about the over thirty crowd." And I'm like, "What are you talking about? No, that these are players who who that that there's a difference. Is that Jokic? He can't even get his team out of the second round of the playoffs." And he won the MVP because he won the war of attrition. Had had Joel Embiid played 10 more games, he, he would have won, won MVP. Right, I agree. And I agree. if LeBron Harden, doesn't, yeah, Harden, played, you know, LeBron, they all games. finish higher than than him if they don't get hurt. I so, agree. Yeah. But he, he is a great player, was deserving MVP. But, yeah, you're right. I can't disagree with any of that. All right, 